drop a like and do share leave your comments and do not forget to subscribe for more videos hello and welcome to edupedia world hello welcome to sap ui5 training session in this training session now we'll see update how do we, how are we gonna update it so we have in the categories we have to change the method to get and say the list of and i'm going to change it for the id one and beverages one and put and there's a payload accept yeah and the name Yeah, electronics. Yeah, this is the one. I'm going to change beverages to electronics, and I'm going to send. So once it's in, no content created, but we are not getting any response. But we're gonna see the category one. Well, we get earlier it was milk. Earlier it was different. Now it is electronics. Now we'll change to something else. Elect electronics new. We're gonna change it to. So once we send it, this is for the ID one. You have to make sure ID one name electronics new, and we're gonna send it. So no response. We are getting it, but the content is updated. So how we'll come to know? We'll go to get. It should be electronics, not electronics. It should be electronic new. So we're gonna send an electronics new. Okay, this is how it is created, and we'll check it for the four. And we'll see whether any update is happening for the four or not. So we use a post put. Yeah, I'm naming it like this. I'm going to send it. See, it doesn't come because IDs are always unique. So now when I send four, so four has the two entries. So that's the reason it is not successful. So that's the reason. Whenever we do it, it, we have to make sure that it runs properly and the correct update we are doing. So the validations need to be done from the backend or data service provider. But we have to also make sure that we are passing the correct data and correct entries. So for testing purpose, this is fine. But when it goes to the production, so this validations need to be done properly because we don't know what how the customers would be sending data so here which in this session we discussed on get post put for update and delete the entries of categories similarly we can do for the others also other urls once we have used this service in future if you want to see the history you can see the history in this tab so we have seen this so if you want to open it, you can open it by the select. So four head comes and you can have a get entry like this. And we can, because this is not running, we will be choosing something else. So we'll be choosing this post method and see post comes. So when you go back to history also, see, we have get delete like this. So we'll be using this post method like this even put you have sent also it comes in the payload if you want to check you can cross check so you want to change it you can change it and you can send it or you can clear it okay it means everything goes off so you can always see it in the history so we have a setting option also in this so setting action is like console output like normally error comes so you can clear your history from here also so these are the few settings which is available and it, it's a developers so we are not developers so we will not worry about this history and you can save the project also you don't have any saved request so you can directly access from the google drive also you can check and you can the projects are empty once you save it it comes as a project and this is a type of web socket URL. You can 
check it using this whether the connection is existing or not so oh, this is the URL right so we'll use a Google google.com google.com once you type google.com yeah so it is says connected so once you can test the connection from your socket any url you can give and this is a request which we are sending so whatever operations we have done we have done it to the request so in this session we have discussed postman but now we'll see one more which we talked about that is json view so we'll, for the json view we'll be using another url called products it's the same thing we're using the products so once we say the products the products is comes with a json data usually here we say it then the same way this is a json view actually so once we view source this is the data in this data we can have a dollar format equal to json it's already a json it doesn't have any change but we want to see it in xml so this is an xml view so like this we will be doing but but by default xml view comes this is a normal view source but it is properly formatted how it is formatted is it's another extension you have to go to more extension and how do we want to do it go to get more extensions in this here you can have a json view yeah, json view once the json view comes this is the one you can add it so json view you can add any up to that will give you the json so once in particular see it gives you like you can check if you want you can check the the extension so it's already added to the chrome so it gives you an error saying that but we don't want this this is for the developers so we'll be using another one so which one i am using we'll check the extensions i have is apps which have so we'll go to settings more extensions yeah here it is json view so details of this gives you yeah this is the one the same one i have used it's already added to the chrome so sometimes if you get an error also it will give you okay this is the main usage of json and the properly alignment will be done for the json so it easily you can read it that's what it means so once we I close this so see suppose like it will be in this formatted okay so you can't read it properly so the one way of doing it is copy everything and go to jsonlint.com yeah jsonlint.com and here you can paste it and validate it okay this is how your data will be aligned properly so other way of doing is directly install every time you don't have to go to jsonlint.com and check so you can directly check your whole data here see aligned so when we click on it when the process is slow so once once the data is refreshed see it came and went the view source came and went and it properly aligned this is how alignment is done the data is small that's the reason it's aligned quickly if data is large then it will take some time to align so in this session we discussed about uh, postman and how to use the postman and check your services and then how to use json view and odata service is always json and xml so the payloads whatever we send from the sap uifi perspective should be json only because we'll be using json data only in our application and only javascript notation only our sap uifi accepts as a payload so when we have something called payload we have to create delete or update that time we have to use json related data only payload that's the reason we have used json and we have checked it here over here and xml will also be applicable but we don't want xml we want it in json 
because the same thing we're gonna use it in the application okay this is for the session i hope how to use postman and json view is clear and in the next session we'll be discussing further thank you for watching edupedia world stay tuned for more videos